Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be going over the massive move to the downside that we are seeing here inside of the Bitcoin market and how this is a absolutely great opportunity that we have been given today. You do not want to be like a deer into the headlights looking at them frozen not knowing what to do. You won't have been the guy with the sniper ready and waiting for this move to the downside and now just thinking to yourself, wow, this is the opportunity that we have been ready and waiting for. So let's take it. Let's trade and let's do some analysis. Ladies and gentlemen, let's start off here. Obviously, just quickly reviewing really what's going on. Let's go on to a 30 minute chart. We obviously had a few uh, key levels in terms of our daily, which was our pretty important daily support yesterday. Yeah. And as you can see, that daily level, if we have to zoom in pretty, pretty close here, that daily level was obviously lost and flipped into resistance. So that's the first thing that you got to remember. Support when lost flips into resistance. OK, so we really simply saw a simple case of daily support lost retested flipped into resistance. And well, the, the rest is kind of history. We have a few key levels up here on the on the bigger term time frame to be aware of. We have this weekly, which is coming in at around $56,000 currently. Oh, that's not going to change. <laughs> and we have this daily coming in at $51,335. Again, this is, this is not going to change. These two levels here are set in stone. And now we have a little bit of action. I would like to show you a few things that have gone on over the past 20, well, really 12 hours here. Um, you know, this massive move to the downside that we've seen. Okay, really, really, really big move to the downside. Uh, I want to put on this. This is the indicator that shows us how many people have been liquidated. OK, because I, 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 uh, I've done it. I've done a members only uh, live stream this morning and I'm going to repeat myself here. But the, the, the news people are going to have an absolute field day today because they're going to be throwing out the stories of China. They're going to be throwing out the stories of hash rates. They're going to be glass node. F2 pool, all these sort of things of, of how they can make up all the, or, 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 you know, create a story. There's always this sort of reason, oh, it happened because of this. It happened because of manipulation. It happened, blah, 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 blah. The reason this move happened is because we saw billions, billions of liquidations. OK, <laughs> this is this is the reason why we got such a move to the downside. You see on that candle alone, one point negative, one point six two billion in, uh, you know, negative delta in a candle of four billion alone. OK, so that's that is. That that's that's why we're seeing such a move to the downside, because this is a liquidation cascade. Yeah. So you get this cascading effect, like it's almost like a waterfall, it's described as because you hit one stop loss, it hits the next 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 stop loss. You start to get people liquidated because guess what? Cryptocurrency people love to use high leverage. This is why in chart champions we will say never use high leverage because, hey, you can get caught off guard, I suppose, like this. And well, it was a mixture like period nobody can argue the fact this was a mixture of stops being hit and liquidations how can we tell that we well, we look at the open interest we see the facts of the volume and, and it's just undeniable that this was the the primary cause of the move down uh, a few things in my regards of why we saw a move to the downside and um <laughs> obviously you know the key levels that we were shorting from this is obviously a post somebody along with us shorting that key level I was personally after that three drives pattern. And this is the thing that the three drives I was looking for fifty nine to fifty eight thousand dollars. And we just went straight smashing through it. So this morning I still do hold as I say here, it really was driven into the ground. But I still hold that short position even right now as we're speaking. So to say like this move was not, uh, you know, th let's just say that there was definitely technical reasons to short up at the highs, of course. And then, then, so we had really that bearish three drives. And then we also had, of course, this one, which I think is maybe, maybe we could say a, a big reason of the move to the downside. We had that rising wedge. Yeah, this is the rising wedge pad. And I'm thinking to myself, this was on the 16th, we're now on the 18th. What a great fake out we have. If we can continue to push this down and push this down, head back down towards sort of that 50K region, Obviously, this ends in a very good long. This is the thing. The opportunities are great. But if you were ready and waiting with your, you know, aware that we had this, uh, let's just add it back onto the charts. Uh, so this is the rising wedge that we were obviously looking at. So if we just hide that a second, obviously that's pretty amazing. Uh, yeah, the bearish rising wedge. So we obviously had this going on. 
So when we remember this is you know, considered a bearish pattern. So what's going to be happening right now? Well, I think a lot of people are going to be freaking, freaking out. Um, you know, people have got liquidated, people have got destroyed, people are frozen, they're not knowing what to do. Well, you know, you ask me, what's the trade here? Um, you know, I'm going to be saying, well, the, 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 the trade while we were up at around 60K was short positions. And now we've dropped back down to around 50K. And this for me is the time to look for longs. Um, you know, I am definitely aware now that we have had this come to fruition. We have had the drop down outside of the rising wedge. This is a pattern that, you know, more likely not breaks the downside. But now are we going to get this strength to really, sorry, push this back up? I mean, I personally would like that, to be honest with you. Um, well, there's two, there's two areas that I'm really looking to long this. And well, the, fir the first one, around $53,000, obviously, we, we have hit that this morning. And, and secondly, would be, a you know, a... I feel that this would be an amazing, I would love this, you don't understand how much I would love it, to to breach $50,000 and head down below that, like, yeah, I can't, like, underestimate how much I would love, really, I would love to break $50,000, but that's just because, wow, like, the market would turn extremely bearish, everyone would be out there long, like, you know, so much people would be out there longs, uh, that's just, like, prime ripe time to be very, very, very bullish for the, for the rise in price, um, yeah, so, so 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 I think you have two opportunities here, really. The, the first is obviously your longs, you know, arguably around fifty three k. The second one is if, if we can breach fifty thousand dollars, like oh, I'd love it so much. It might not happen though. Obviously, we have to acknowledge fifty k is clearly big support. We have just seen massive move to the downside. Uh, we could, you know, it's likely that we get this sort of a bounce underway, and then it's you know we have, this is where we have to look into like how is the support coming on this bounce? Is it a dead? you know, dead cat bounce, which basically means we get a bounce underway that, uh, you know, ends up in a rejection and we head down lower. Or do we get some strength in the bounce? Currently, we've seen a lot of strength, uh, arguably, you know, volume, uh, volume cra crazy high of 12 billion, <laughs> 12 billion volume in that candle alone. That's that's massive. Yeah, that's, ma that's massive. Um, but yeah, the way that I'm currently uh, approaching this, well, I, I'm in a scope long or simultaneously, I, I also am holding that short. And, you know, this is the way I trade. This is the way I trade. I, I'm not, I'm not going to close this this short while we're still in the local downtrend. Yeah? So you just see everything that's been happening over the past 24 hours here. Lo high, low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. Obviously, this is when we had lost the daily back into lower high, back test of that daily support flipped into resistance. Bam, straight down for a lower low. This is now a lower high. And now are we gonna, you know, this is are we gonna change the trend? So are we gonna breach this? And then are we have gonna finally have changed this to put in a high, a higher low, and a higher high? You see how important this is. We the whole time we've been unable to do this. We've just been making our lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. But if we can finally do this high, higher low and breach this for a higher high, well, that's that's at least step part number one of changing local market structure. Okay, so that's uh, just something to bear in mind. You you would like to, again, um, you know, you got you got to make your own decisions at the end of the day. But that that's something that I would like to see to uh, maybe compound a swing scope to compound a scope long into potentially a swing trade now if if we get get to see that. But I mean, at the end of the day here. I, I woke up this morning and I'm like, this is amazing. Like for, for me personally, not not just because obviously I had shorts running at the same time, but just because this is an amazing opportunity. Like how can the only people that are depressed, you, truly it has to be, the only people that are, are depressed about this move are the people that got liquidated. And I'm not trying to laugh at people. I'm just trying to, you know, it's, it's pretty obvious now that they're bound to be a bit, a bit depressed if they got liquidated or, or likely upset. I'm um, maybe not depressed, but just upset that they got liquidated. Whereas I view this like, wow, <laughs> we got driven into the ground from that three jives pattern. And it's like, yeah, we had that rising wedge. We had the three jives. And now we've come down to a massive area where we have the potential of a really big fake out. And what does that mean? It means that, you know, smash back up, you know, just as quick as it come down, smashing it back to the upside. I think we have a few things to be aware of. We have the local market structure. We obviously have, um, you know, th th those key levels that we were giving you yesterday, 58,000, 59,000, they're, they're obviously flipped into resistance now. So it's not just going to be plain sailing to the way back up. Um, you know, you've got to be aware of your levels. You've got to be aware of, these, you know, these technical levels. And, and you cannot deny that they're not respected. Like they, they are very are. They definitely are well respected. And this is a time of opportunity. This is an this is a time to be happy and excited. This is not a time to be thinking, what do I do next? I don't understand why did we drop? Who cares why we dropped? You know, uh, at the end of the day, we dropped. 
you know, I don't care whether uh, people want to say it was that F2 pool or it was Glassnode or it was, who cares? You know, <laughs> this is my perspective. I couldn't care less about what, what people are going to say, why it dropped. I'm going to say we got massive liquidation run. We had a massive stop run. We dropped. I don't care the reasons. All I care about is the chart and the next trade. You know, this is my this is my opinion as as a trader. Like I don't don't really care about all the reasons. The only thing I care about is where's the next trade. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> that's, that's my view on the market anyway. And I view this as a as a brilliant opportunity after we have now broken down from from that rising wedge. Obviously, uh, yeah, that, 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 that's my view. Um, da, 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 let's place this. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is this is the thing that um, we obviously have got a champions live stream tonight last week so seven days ago in the last sunday's live stream uh we obviously give we do give setups on the stream now we we were ready and waiting for this move to fifty three thousand dollars and just below fifty thousand dollars as our as our two long trades that we were given us um you know i'm not going to take the credit of, 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 of calling it necessarily but i am going to say uh last week in the champions live stream the only two trades that we give um were waiting for this drop to the downside yeah we were waiting for the move down so uh <laughs> yeah that, that's all i can say if, if you want to see our next plan which is obviously tonight we have the next champions live stream tonight where I will be going, you know, I'll be I'll be covering the ideas of, you know, is this still a good long? Is this still a good, you know, is this still a good long position? Now that we have had that really come to fruition of the move down, you know, I'll be going over the question of is this a fake out? And we are going to see a strong move to the upside, or, you know, are we going to be a little bit cautious? But yeah, that's what I was going over in the live stream on the 11th. So literally one week ago. Uh, that's that's what we we're waiting for. We were waiting for the move down, and this is what I mean. We got a. We were waiting for this move down, so let's let's view this as an opportunity uh, for the people that are worried or scared about this. They 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 uh, longed into sixty thousand dollars, which is um, unfortunate, I suppose. But you know, you just got to remember this is a difference between swing traders, scalp traders, day traders. You got to remember what time frame you're trading, and um, yeah, that, 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 that really is my my opinion on this. So you know, to to really emphasise what we're looking at here. Um, Again, a, a few summary key points. Uh, my key point is, who, who cares why this moved down? Uh, who cares about all the news articles that are going to be telling you why this moved down? The only thing that matters is the charts. Yeah, The only thing that matters is the charts. We have these now three massive levels that we can be trading from, which is really our lovely daily, weekly, and, well, the, the top daily is now clearly uh, a while away, but and that's obviously been our resistance. We have got a breakdown from this rising wedge. Okay, so that, that really has broken to the downside and now it's a, a case of um you know are, are we going to get that local market structure change with a reclaim that reclaim of resistance change in the local, local market structure or will that resistance hold and, and we'll, we'll look to edge this down to maybe a retest of fifty three thousand dollars or ultimately i mean it would just not that sure it happens right now but a, a move below 50k i think i personally would absolutely love like you don't understand like how much I would love that, but I'm just not sure it happens at the moment. And that's just because it's a little bit too early. I think we have a lot of big factors that are happening tonight. That's with the CME market opening, with your futures opening. Uh, for me, this is like two massive factors that, yeah, they, they, they are literally just for me massive factors. So, um, yeah, this video, hopefully I've offered you a bit of clarity of um, the, the technical reasons why we moved down here. Again, in my in my opinion, it was a three drive. Obviously, the three drives overextended. Yeah, the three drives overextended. But at the end of the day, it still gave a short, and it still gave no reason to to close that. Yeah, you had no reason to close that, and I I truly don't believe you have a reason to fully close it here. Uh, and now what we're waiting for here locally is really a reclaim and our first time local change of the market structure there. Step number one, really, then we'd like to see those volume increases. Uh, you know, the open interest looks fairly nice, to be honest with you. And uh, yeah, then the second thing I'd be looking for is the CME open tonight. You know, it'd be kind of nice to hang around here, close that CME gap. Uh, if you remember, we have the CME gap. Um, so it'd be fairly, fairly nice to close close that. We obviously have this one. And uh, well, this one, uh, you know, you're going to have a pretty, you know, this is what I was saying earlier. You might have a runaway gap. Obviously, this is my second video of the day. <laughs> Done an urgent live stream this morning for the members. But um, yeah, I think right now, final words of clarity are we have technical levels to trade. Don't be the deer in the headlights. Don't be scared. 
Don't be thinking, oh my God, what's happening? Just think this is opportunity. You know, if you haven't seen one before this, this is what we call opportunities. So, um, you know, that, that really is my final thoughts of the day. Um, I hope that you're going to be looking forward to trade this. I hope I've given you a bit of uh, information of really why we saw the move down. Uh, what we're looking for next instead in terms of a, a safe long position and uh of course though of course i need to stress no financial advice no no financial legal any advice at all this video is just entertainment educational only um gotta obviously remember that but yeah personally i'm very happy with the move <laughs> i'm not gonna lie I'm, I'm i'm very happy with the move um we see a lot of people with ex exponential <laughs> gains basically over the past 24 hours uh, a lot of people happily with their shorts so what can i say um yeah i suppose that's it really um if you've enjoyed i appreciate a like if i suppose if we get maybe what 500 a thousand likes then i'll do a live stream for you today so if you want uh you know i'm going to be around trading this all day like i've already taken five trades this morning the opportunity is massive i'm going to be around all day trading this so if, if you want a public live stream before we start the champions live stream tonight I'll, I'll squeeze in a public live stream if you if you want one smash up the likes and yeah i'll, I'll, I'll probably do one for you to be honest i'm pr feeling pretty happy today um so yeah if you want that smash the likes for everybody else that's everything that i wanted to go through Duh, 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 duh. we were ready and waiting for the drop we absolutely got it so yeah i'm pretty pretty content with that um thank you ever so much hope this has been helpful and i'll maybe catch you in a live stream well definitely for the champions for everybody else maybe another one in a few hours cheers everybody thank you have a brilliant day and goodbye <laughs>